How's it going guys? My name is Luke from Coffee House and today we're going to be jumping into the Mocha Master here. The Mocha Master made by Techniforum is hand built in the Netherlands and they are really amazing units for home brewing coffee. What we kind of really liked about them is how fast it was to boil some water and kind of like how fast that got started. We look at brewers here as a means of transferring boiled water up top of coffee into your reservoir. And for a home unit, I think this is kind of exactly what we want. You know, for me, I didn't want something that had a bunch of bells and whistles and, you know, changing everything and more tech and all of the things that kind of like complicate what is such a simplistic process. We really kind of dove in and wanted to find a brewer that had a really accurate flow rate, really accurate temperatures and everything like that. And this is what we found. I'll get into the drawbacks in a little bit um, and kind of our response to those drawbacks and what we kind of plan on doing going forward. We did testing on testing of all of these machines and kind of how consistent they were. And across the board, we were getting a 60 gram flow rate per 50 per 15 seconds for just about all of our brews on average. I mean, I have 60, 58.9. Uh, I have 60 on the nose, I have 59.85. So you're looking at about 60 grams of water per 15 seconds in terms of flow rate. You get your flow rate for grams per second, 3.2, 3.19, 3.21, 3.22, 3.29. 9. So you're getting right kind of on the nose with that same thing. And um, we're looking at kind of like your percentage of loss here as well because you know, there's going to be some water that hangs out in the reservoir. We used 500 grams in and lost on average 2% of the water because it's going to hold on to some in the reservoir. And 2% in the grand scheme of things, it makes it really easy for you to plan. And just the timing here, we did with the 500 grams, we had finished times of 228, 230, 233, 220, 230. So your finish times for brews are really accurate as well. So this was this brew was with no coffee, by the way. It was just flowing water into the reservoir. So you're obviously your time is going to be a little longer for a finish, uh, probably another 15, 30 seconds for that. We really like these units for you know the the simplicity of them being able to turn it on, have your water boiled, continue brewing, and then be able to dial in the factors of the actual coffee itself with a consistent basis for your water transport. The one drawback I know a lot of people criticize the Mocha Master for this is the hot plate on the bottom. And so kind of our response to that is it's actually very simple to disable the hot plate in the unit. Um, and I think it's something we're going to offer in the future as an option on our website. When you purchase one of these units, you'll, there will be a drop down tab that says disable hot plate essentially. And you know, there's, there's kind of a there's a time, there's a fine line that you kind of cross when you um, when you start heating your coffee again because there is definitely the taste of cooked coffee um, that will happen if you con continually heat coffee. But by disabling that bottom unit, which is really easy, there's just a single copper wire that runs from the actual heater inside of here to the plate itself. All you have to do is take that wire out and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be communicating with Mocha Master, hoping that. Um, this isn't going to void any warranties or anything like that, and then be ready to go with having that option on our site. Additionally, we will have content explaining how to do that yourself too, um, which you know would avoid us having to do it or avoid any warranty inside of our shop or anything like that. But uh, yeah, these come in amazing colors. I mean, there's just looking at our sheet, I think we have, there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. There's 26 individual colors on these Mocha Master units, um, but we found these five to be kind of like the most attractive to us and kind of like the most iconic in our opinion. Um, I really like the matte black. I think that one, you know, will fit into kind of any home, but I really like the idea of standing out with something that is such kind of a tabletop piece. So you have this amazing kind of like sunflower gold, this off-white cream color and the pink. The pink's my favorite. This is the one we've had in our office for the last year. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. If you have any questions about these Mocha Masters or making any changes or anything like that, uh, please leave a comment below. And um, yeah, thank you guys again for tuning in.